Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I'm back with Jeffrey from 10th Planet Las Vegas. Look Today at that. I have the shirt. With All right. The pants Come on in here. Get over here. So, the prodigal son returns. Um, but uh, yeah, want to kiss these guys. You know, I called you uh, Creonch today in class. I told all my guys, don't let that Creonch pass your guard. Make sure you tap that dude out. I say Creonch. That's a traitor. <laughs> You're a traitor. <laughs> he's a traitor. Nah, he's cool. All right. Hey, you were asking me about uh, Anaconda. Yeah. Anaconda defense. Mm -hmm. So let, let's talk about that. Show me, show me how they're, uh, they're hitting the Anaconda on you. So... Alright, so I think the darts first. Yeah. Maybe you're defending. No, 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 this is Anaconda. Oh man, mixing up. <laughs> so, darts first. No, that's Anaconda. I did the same thing again? You did the same thing you did at Anaconda. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, come here, check it uh, out. Stay down that's here. That's right, I get it. Like, I guess I'm here. teaching. Guys, this is Anaconda. Oh, that's right. Oh, I got it, coach. I got it. That's you right. got it. Okay, yeah. he's got the, it. The closer arm. This way is darts. Yeah. So maybe they're trying to darts and they're, they're staying. Yeah. Uh, they're, uh, you know, I don't remember, they keep space or whatever, I can't get it. Yeah. So they switch to this way. Right. Oh, and they put it over here. So lock is now over here. So then they come this way, you know, but instead of doing it right away, you do the roll through. <sighs> and the probably coach is going to try to get space, right? You yeah, I'm going to try to open it up because it's choking me. So these guys, they wrench it this way. Maybe he's still trying to flare his elbow <sighs> and grab here. And then this just slides up. And then, oh, that's a beautiful technique. I wish I knew that move. <laughs> I'm just joking. Of course, guys, I call this the, uh, the Hava Mendes leg assist. He's one of the guys that was most po prominent using the leg to close up the anaconda. So he's pretty amazing at it. Um, it's, a, it's a good move. I've had it on multiple videos uh, that we've shown guys. So if you don't know that technique, you better learn it. So what do you do? I don't know. Yeah, that's, see, that's the, that's the thing. I was talking about the Dars and the Anaconda. Guys, the, the, the Dars is actually easier to escape than the Anaconda, mostly because of that damn leg assist. When the leg comes over and collapses your arm, you can't open your elbow and it makes it a big, big problem. So for example, let's say, Jeff, I, I'm about to do a Dars on you, boom. If I go here, you can roll and open your elbow. See? If I can't use my leg. If I bring you to this side, you see like, I can't use my leg the same way. It's gonna open my lock. Sometimes you're gonna defend and you'll be in the belly down position. Sometimes you'll be in the belly down and you'll, see I can't walk it up because you got your elbow in. You see, if you were up on your knees, it would be dangerous. Because now I could walk into you, you see that? Yeah. And now push your arm across your own neck, see that? Mm -hmm. But if you, if you can get flat and open your elbow and down the mat, like first, I'm kind of like at a dead end. It's, it's really not gonna work so well. So I gotta try to go somewhere else. Anyway, but, 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 when I go to the Anaconda and I go here and you open, I can bring my leg over. See that? And when my, my leg is so easy to come over, even if you open up way wide, I can roll back and around and catch you here. And that makes it devastating. Yeah. Harder to defend, okay? All right, so here's what I got for you. Because there is always a way out. It might be hard, but I gotta give you some answers. First off, try if you can, to not be down here passive like a lot of guys play. The reason why they do that, they're afraid of the guillotine, they're afraid of chokes. So they get down here and they try to get tight. It's very bad to do that. If I get up in this position and I pulse my hands and you grab around front headlock, start of it, you see, if I'm here, I put my leg up over here, I reach up and I pull his elbow. This is where I belong right away. I've already had a video on this. I should be rolling my ear to chest and looking for the arm tag and coming out. That's what I should be doing. Now you might say, ah, oh, that's pretty simple. It looks simple enough, but in reality, it doesn't work because the guy is cranking you and he's squeezing you. So when I'm in this position, even if you have it tight, look at my arm. My arm opens 
and I'm here and I'm like in a much better, how much harder is it for you right now to hit that roll? It's gonna be tough to have yeah. to get my head in here. Now what, look what happens when you start. Yeah, go ahead. You, you can drop down. You should be down on your knee. There you go. On this knee, this leg up at first. Farther back. Yeah. Now when you try to drop and hit the roll, go. Go, go. See how like, like I shut you down. Yeah. Honestly, you know what how I'm doing that? I'm just using balance, base. This is what we gain in wrestling. Freestyle wrestling, we don't roll that much. We roll other people over, but we want to not be rolled. So that's first off, okay? Now, what if before I even get here, it, it, it's already getting bad, I'm down here. So now, go ahead and come around with the camera. Notice, he's trying to roll himself, drop your head, yeah, and then roll. Oh, you can actually do it? Yeah, just roll. When I go here, a lot of guys, what they're doing, they're, like you said, they're opening their elbow and they're trying to like, trying to breathe as you clamp it, clamp it. Yeah, and they're trying to breathe. And then your leg is right there, right? Yeah. See that? So that's kind of review. But why did I stop here in the first place? I'd like to know. Why did I stop here? Why do so many people get rolled halfway, stop in the middle, and then they're like, I gotta defend my neck, like this. And then the guy chokes you. Right? You choke me. So watch what I'm gonna do. It's so simple, Jeff. You ready? Go ahead and hit it. I'm down. Hit it. What happened? You just kept rolling. <laughs> I just kept rolling. I didn't stay there like a dummy. So if you're gonna roll me, yeah. I'll just keep I'll roll. Fine. I don't wanna get trapped in the middle of this move. Let the guy hit that leg assist, bring the leg over, trap my arm. So if, you're, if I'm down here and I'm defending, and the guy hits a hard anaconda roll, well, see now, you're gonna have to roll with me. Roll with yeah. me. Okay. Roll with me, and look where we end up. Oh. Now you wanna hit the anaconda again? You wanna lock it yet? Try to lock it. Push, yeah. Now you give me a leg, pass. So, but you're, you see, like, yeah. let's come back over here. So, let me do it. So watch. When I lock this, guys, even if you're down on your elbow, I want you, like, just, you gotta get it out of your head that you stop in the middle of the roll. When the guy hits the technique, just continue. Now look, now I wanna lock it right here. Open your elbow. Now I lock it, I try to pry it. Even if I pry it across your face, go. You see, you're never giving me, you're never giving it to me. Okay. You see that? Mm -hmm. I just rolled back to my knees. Yeah, you rolled back to your knees. Yeah. And you're never gonna give the guy the chance to do that leg assist. Now, something I used to do, guys, I, I wasn't always massively strong like I am right now. Um, I used to be skinnier. I used to weigh like 132, 135, right in that range, especially when I was competing. When I was that small, I was really skinny. I could lock an anaconda on most guys, and I'm a reasonably strong guy at my weight. I used to do the leg assist myself back in the 90s, but my leg assist was not like Hoffa Mendes. My leg assist was in this position. I would use anaconda here, and I would lock. Then the guy tries to open the elbow, and I would go here. Now I just squeeze like this. That was a choke, by the way. You couldn't see his hand. I tap. Anyway, so watch that again. This is the, the Coach Brian version. You guys go, I go here. I don't roll the guy to, to get the guy on the ground to do the anaconda, I do it right here. So once I lock the anaconda, the guy's trying to resist. I bring my knee over, I stand, and I do the third world squat. You guys know the third world squat? This is it, right here, okay? I close my knees, my other knee, go around the other side. Look at my other knee on his head. So I'm closing on his head and I'm closing my thighs like this. Okay, right there. That's what I would do. If a guy tried to take me down, yeah, I would put you off on the side 
and then I would finish. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So long before Hafa. <laughs> anyway, but he's 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 the guy. I always I still call it Hafa Mendez because he was the most prominent guy that I ever saw hitting it. So I think he deserves that credit. But I, I actually came up with the knees back in the 90s myself. Anyway, um, and truth be told, I learned the Anaconda from a wrestler, um, Joe Gonzalez, a uh, very high level American wrestler. Anyway, okay, so where are we with this? Once they roll us, mm -hmm. we need to also start grabbing elbows and start angling to drag out. Do you understand? Can you, yeah. can you roll me one time for the anaconda? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's say I'm out of position. He pinches tight and rolls me. Go, 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 pinch, 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 pinch. I grab his elbow, and now look what I did. Uh, come around with the camera. Yeah, yeah. So just stay locked, stay locked. So I immediately put my leg up, and I look, and now I drag. Okay, see how I drag you? Now we're right. Do you understand? I think so, yeah. So I basically did an arm drag. Okay. Maybe I couldn't do it in the first place. Like you're down? Yeah. And your elbow's down? Elbow's down? Good. Uh -huh. You were making a mistake. Like, you know, like maybe like right now, yeah. I'm already starting to go to Anaconda. You know, I want to I wanna make this work, but you open your elbow. Yeah, so I like crank you. Oh, Just let me. No. I'm not trying to fight you. Okay. Don't, don't. Yeah. Relax, relax. <laughs> don't, don't. No, you're on your elbow. Uh -uh. You open your elbow. Just open it. Oh, yeah, see, so, so I can't lock it. So I crank you, right? Yeah. Now when I roll, you're gonna roll to your knees. Go, go. Now look, grab my elbow. That's right. yeah, that, that's the one that's gonna grab it. Yes. But before you grab it with that one, uh -huh. you grab it with the other one. Oh, uh, this one? Yeah, and you pull it first. So it's like an arm drag. Oh. Yeah, but pull it to you. Pull it. Yes. Now reach with your right hand. Deep. No, deep. Yeah. Now look up into my. Armpit, put your ear to chest, put your left leg up. Now do a little arm drag and go to my back. Oh, I see. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. You know how when I do an arm drag, I grab your wrist and then I yeah. take the arm drag? Yeah. It's the same thing, except I have the elbow and you're locked. And then I reach. Look at how deep. I reach and I drag it up. Okay, you see that? Yeah. So after we roll, we don't lay on our side. We don't want to get anaconda. You have to roll with it, get back to your base, then you're gonna hit your arm drag and circle out. Complicated? It makes sense. I would just need to you know, practice it a few times. Okay, well, last one. Quick. Last yeah. one. Give it one more for the camera. You better get this right, bro. <laughs> All right. So let's see. At first you should be here anyway, so I can't do this stuff. So I'm done here. Hey, how, let's test your base. Put that leg up. Yeah, good base. Ready? Hold my elbow with your left hand. Yeah, pull. Good. Now, when I try to roll you, I don't want you to get rolled, okay? Just okay. have good balance. See that? Now, if I'm going here, so, yeah, you see? Now, look, it didn't work, huh? Yeah. Now, you're going to through me. All right, ten. Okay, so we tested that out. But now, let's imagine a scenario where I've threatened your neck, and you go to passivity. Right, you're down here. So, now, a guy's thinking, I'm going to go for the anaconda. See that? Now, I've got the anaconda locked. Here, all you're gonna do, you know what he's going for. Yeah. Now grab my elbow, leg up, arm drag, arm drag, no. You gotta reach really deep. Okay. okay. One more time, come on, last time, get it, get it. We need to get this, down to your elbow. I'll go slow, we'll go slow, okay, ready? I roll, your base, grab my elbow, leg up, look up into my armpit, ear to chest, reach deep with your right hand, drag, drag. Track. Good. Back take, you better finish. <laughs> nice job. All right. Sweet. I think we got something. Yeah. Like you're gonna have, now you can take it back to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Casey, hey, what's up? Try to get me in that anaconda. You know Casey, though. He's a, he, he'll strangle you, so he'll probably still get you sometimes. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Teach me grappling. Click that like. Share this video. Got a seminar this weekend, guys. I then uh, just dropped a video today. Pignon Hills Martial Arts Retreat. If you guys want to come on out, it's only 60 bucks. You get to train with me for three hours. Three hours, that's 20 bucks an hour. And we're going to have a barbecue. 
We're gonna enjoy a little uh, campfire. We're gonna hang out under the stars a little bit. It's a, it's a, a beautiful desert. Anyway, no, no lights around, so we're gonna have a beautiful look at the sky. Anyway, thank you guys so much. If you guys wanna uh, become a part of that seminar, make sure you guys uh, just look in the description box. We've got an email, you wanna email Matt and uh, let them know that you wanna sign up for that. What else can I say? We're gonna try to get some video shots this weekend and we're gonna drop it into the YouTube membership. So anybody who's one of our YouTube members for, for Teach Me Grappling, you guys will be privy to that, those little video clips of the seminar this weekend. All right guys, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.